So you're thinking about moving to Sandpoint, Idaho, and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Sandpoint. Well, you're in the right spot. In today's video, I'm going to take you on a Google Map tour. So I'll screen share my Google Map with you, show you some of the landmarks in Sandpoint and the surrounding areas so you have a better idea and better knowledge of Sandpoint, Idaho. If that interests you, stick around at the end. I've got lots of great information. Let's go get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel, be sure to subscribe and tap that notifications bell so you can be the first to learn about the current market conditions in North Idaho and areas like Sand Point. My name is Seth. I'm a retired police officer. I work with my wife, Kristen, and together we get calls, texts, emails all the time from people just like you. So whether you're looking to move in six days or six months, give us a call, text, or email. We would love to help you make that smooth move right here to North Idaho. All right, let's jump right into our map tour of Sandpoint, Idaho. Uh, just start out here. Let's going to kind of give your bearings on exactly where Sandpoint is in relation to some other major landmarks. Okay, so we've talked about Coeur d'Alene quite a bit. Let me get up my drawing tool. Okay, Coeur d'Alene down here. Sandpoint is up here. It's about a 45 minute to an hour drive straight up 95 to get to Sandpoint. Spokane's over here just for reference. It's over in Washington. That is a larger city. And so if you're an hour here to Coeur d'Alene, Spokane's about 35, 40, 40 minutes from Coeur d'Alene. So you'd be about an hour and a half to uh, the nearest airport, which is not too bad. Uh, over here is the Washington Idaho border. And then not far up here, eh, well, it's on the farther, just above the top of my map, there's uh, Canada um, above Baldur's Ferry here. Okay. That's the rough bearings of it. I am going to zoom back in because I really want to focus on this area in particular. <laughs> okay. So Sandpoint sits at the north uh, west corner of Lake Pend Oreille, which is this beautiful giant body of water right here. This is Pend Oreille, and then the um, Pend Oreille River running out of Lake Pend Oreille. So Sandpoint is right here in this area. Um, so I kind of wanted to give, yeah, I'm going to give that rough overall view. We've got just a couple of the other areas here. We've got Sagal, which kind of covers the top end here. This is the word Sagal right there. Um, tons of beautiful lake homes all on this coast, these coasts, and along the river. Um, so there's, it's gorgeous. Uh, right here is called the Long Bridge. So if you come up 95 from, say, Coeur d'Alene down south, you'll cross this Long Bridge. It's aptly named because it is a very long bridge. It sits right over the water. Um, and you get the most amazing views as you're crossing that bridge of all the mountains around here. And you'll see Sandpoint, there's some awesome waterfront stuff here, some condos. It's cool, a cool view to come across that bridge and see all that. So that's what it looks like driving into Sandpoint from down south. Excuse me. Let me clear that out again. And I'll zoom in even further. Okay. So Long Ridge coming up. Sandpoint Dover is another nice area right here. This is, you know, they basically run into each other. Uh, Dover's great. Sits right here on the Ponderay River. And then now check it out. Spelling gets different here. So, excuse me. This Ponderay, this is a little city here, town, uh, is spelled how it sounds. And then the lake is spelled differently. Lake spelled P E N D space O apostrophe R E I L L E, which is a French word still pronounce the same ponderay so if you think of this word when you're saying the lake you'll you'll say it right so that works out pretty well <clears throat> ponderay is important to talk about because this is where all of the uh so sandpoint i get let me back up here sandpoint is this beautiful cool downtown 
and uh, lots of homes in here, um, older homes. It's, it's gorgeous. There's not much space left. So things are spreading north up here into Ponderé. And Ponderé is where you'll find the box stores uh, that you might need for your daily life. So Yolks, Fresh Market right here, grocery store. Um, you've got Petco, right? You've got a Petco. And then, uh, sorry, Walmart, North 40. We talked about North 40 in a few other videos. Uh, North 40 is a phenomenal store. It's like a cross between Tractor Supply, Ace Hardware, and Cabela's. It's got all the good stuff in there. And then there is a Home Depot. Uh, where did it go? Second, there it is. Okay, so Home, De Home Depot up here as well. So, um, Ponderé, a couple of breweries. Like it's got a lot going on here. So Ponderé is where you will find all the big box stores. So you're not necessarily having to drive all the way down to Coeur d'Alene when you need stuff like that. Um, so Sandpoint's big in that regard. It's got everything you need in it. You're not you're not running down to Coeur d'Alene every week. Not necessary. Some of my favorite parts of uh, Sandpoint are just gotta jump right to it because I get excited. This city beach right here is the coolest place. There's swimming on basically all sides of it. Nice little beaches. They're uh, roped off with these log, uh, these big giant logs that kind of keep the wake down and then keep the swimmers in a certain area. And it feels like a step back in time. It feels like 1985. Uh, you've got lifeguards, little snack shack. It's it's cool. It's a great spot. So sometimes we come all the way up here from Coeur d'Alene to go swimming at this beach because it's so nice. So that's a great spot to take the family. And you get there, uh, you drive into town. If you're coming up 95, you'll come up this way, get off the exit, cut into here. You kind of come up. This is the main drag in Sandpoint. And that's where, you know, there's tons of restaurants, shops, all that stuff's right there. There's a few in these little side streets. There's other stuff too. So it's not all in that main drag, but that's the main drag. So if you're driving to the beach, you'll come up this uh, get off 95 there, jump up here, take this little bridge across, and then you'll get out here into the uh, city beach area and you can park out there. And that's where you'll access the swimming area. It's awesome. One of the great, one of the best parts of Sandpoint, in my opinion. Okay, turn that out. Now, let me talk about the roadways just a little bit. So, we already understand 95 is the way in from down south. So, you come up here, take the long bridge in there if you stay on 95 you'll just kind of bypass the downtown and come up here and then you can transition to a couple of different roads or go continue straight on 95 and then head up into bonners ferry and eventually canada um highway two comes this way this is a beautiful drive it'll take you all along the ponderay river you'll end up in priest river uh, and then jump over to washington from there um old town and uh beyond so priest river is another cool little town to check out but this is a great drive you've got mountains up here and then waterfront down below so it's a cool cool drive and lots of cool houses along there as well back up out of here just a smidge okay so here's that junction i just talked about right here uh, so 95 continues north and then jump on 200 here. Okay, 200 continues along and you'll come up here. There's cool stuff here. Idaho Club is an awesome golf course and there are homes in there as well. So if you're a golf lover, that's a great spot. And then if you follow it all the way down here to Hope and then beyond that is uh, Clark Fork down here. Beyond that is Montana, not far from there. So Hope is a really cool place. Love Hope. This is the peninsula. So it's a wildlife preserve and maybe the whole thing, but there are lots of homes out here too, along the shore, out here, out to here. So uh, that's a cool place to live. There are some great um, camping sites out here, RV parks that you can go check out. Beyond Hope is one of them. That's right here. Uh, that's a cool spot to take the family and go do a little camping or trailer camping. It's just, once again, it's kind of like a step back in time. It just feels, has that vibe to it. 
So I just wanted to point out Hope. And then Clark Fork is down here. And that's a cool little town. There's some great stuff going on there. It's a fun, fun spot to check out as well. Getting pretty remote, though. If you're living in Clark Fork, it does have some amenities, but not much. So if you're living in Clark Fork, the closest bigger town is going to be Ponderé Sandpoint, which is about 30 minute drive. Okay. Get two sidetracked here. Give me get back to Sandpoint. All right. So we've got we've got the main roadways in and out. That all makes sense. Like I said, lots of homes in here. We've got a a vlog video of Sandpoint coming out soonish that will kind of give you a better idea. We're going to go through some price ranges there and show you some of the stuff. Got some drone shots, all the good stuff. So definitely keep an eye out for that video. Um, and then probably the biggest deal here, so let me zoom out a little bit, Schweitzer Mountain, which is a world-renowned ski resort and uh, mountain biking in the summer. It's gorgeous. It's a uh, very... It's the it, there. There are plenty of ski resorts in North Idaho or near North Idaho, uh, but this one is probably the most high-end looking one. Uh, if you're familiar with something in Tahoe, for example, it would be very Tahoe-ish uh, as far as the amenities and the look of it. Um, homes in there for sure for sale on the higher end of price, and then uh, condos, things like that. But also rentals, so you can take the family up there for a ski week, ski in, ski out kind of stuff. Um, but that is w definitely worth checking out. They have festivals up here several times a year. Um, the fall festival is awesome. It's a good time of year to be out there for sure. So that is really close to Sandpoint. Um, I mean, we're talking, well, it takes a little while to drive up to the top, but we're talking a, uh, you know, 10 miles, less than 10 miles from here. The road is very windy up to the resort, but about 10, 15 minutes to get there from Sandpoint. So that is one of the bigger draws to the Sandpoint area. And like I said, there's year round activities up here. It's a really, really cool spot. One other thing to note, where are you? Uh, so Scotchman's Peak, I probably won't be able to find it. Oh. Spoke too soon. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> so Clark Fork. So if you take this uh, Highway 200 all the way around the top, Clark Fork, Scotchman Peak is up here. This area. Circle that for you. Right there. This is an awesome. And then here's the Montana-Idaho border. So you're right there on the border. But that is a super high peak. And uh, it is a phenomenal hike. Um, it's a tough hike, pretty steep, take you a better part of the day to get up and back, but the views are amazing and you may run into a mountain sheep, the white sheep with the cool horns. They are up here, believe it or not. So something you can run into if you're doing that hike, definitely worth doing. Clearing that out. All right. So back to Sandpoint. So as you see, like. We've got tons of grocery stores, um, breweries, great restaurants. One of my favorite places is right here. If you go to Sandpoint, you need to go eat at the Pie Hut. They make sandwiches, but they also make the most ridiculous pie ever. And they've got like 20 different varieties. And beautiful thing, you just get your pie and then you walk right over here to Evans Brothers Coffee. And you get your cup of coffee and there you go. You got it all. That's like a three minute walk right there. Uh, Matchwood Brewing Company is a great place for lunch. So there's tons to do here. And this, these are kind of off that main drag that I talked about. But there's, um, if you start exploring some of the back streets, you find there's a lot going on. Uh, so this is that main drag. Tons of food options here as well. Burger Dock is always good. Panhandle Cone and Coffee, good to go. So there's, you know, it's, you could spend a day here and exploring and it would be great, a great trip. And it's a wonderful place to live. Sandpoint, um, I try to describe it to people. It's, it's like a little more artsy, a little more, it's a little bougie, uh, compared to Coeur d'Alene. It's still somewhat touristy, but not nearly as busy as Coeur d'Alene area. It's a much smaller town. Uh, these little back streets, it would just be perfect to buy a little house in here and you can ride your beach cruiser down and 
do all the cool stuff downtown, jump over the bridge here and go swim at the beach. That's all available there. So I, I really like Sandpoint. I enjoy coming up here for the day. Uh, like making videos there. I'd probably live there if um, I didn't need to be closer to a larger area just for business. So this is on my radar of places to go when I retire someday far, far away. That'll be maybe a spot for me to consider. So that really covers Sandpoint. I don't want to spend too much time. I'll start rambling. So obviously, if you have further questions specific to Sandpoint or anywhere in North Idaho, Coeur d'Alene, Post Falls, Hayden, Rathstrom, Athol, all the good stuff, uh, shoot me a message, call or text. We would love to help you make that smooth move right here to North Idaho. All right. Thanks, guys.